I'm here with Ian Taylor, the Chief Executive of VTOL, the world's biggest oil trader at the FT Commodities Conference in Lausanne. Ian, from your vantage point as the head of the world's biggest oil trader, how are you feeling about the global economy at the moment? Are you worried about the slowdown in China at all or the impact that that could have on emerging markets? Yes, I think we are a little concerned. I think all the numbers that we're getting in for the beginning of the year are slightly softer than we hoped for. Um, and we're probably seeing a little bit less demand. Obviously, it has been a cold winter, particularly in the US, so we saw a bit of incremental demand there. But certainly, I would say that Asia is a little bit lower than we, we would have expected, yeah. Is the US compensating for that? Um, I think it probably has done in the first couple of months of the year, and it's always difficult because this data tends to take a bit of time before mm. it gets in so we get a really good feel. Uh, and stock levels overall aren't particularly uh, high as yet, as you'd expect. You know, we're not, we're not in the, we're just getting the refinery systems back from turnaround, um, and I think you won't be able to really judge it for a couple of months yet. Okay, and Europe, has that bottomed finally? Yeah, a few signs that Europe is a little bit uh, stronger. Um, certainly in the southern European countries, we seem to be getting a little bit of stability, maybe a little, even a little bit of growth. Um, still seeing, I think it's fair to say, a bit of growth in the Middle East in terms of mm -hmm. demand as well as Africa. I don't think the picture is completely uh, negative um, and you know, hopefully we'll see a little bit more pickup as we go through the year. So moving on to VTOL and something specific, you've yeah. just done your biggest ever transaction, 2.6 billion purchase of a refinery and a big petrol station business in Australia yeah. from Royal Dutch Shell. Could you tell us a bit about that deal, why you've done it, why it's important for the company? I think it was just a great opportunity for to buy a really good business, um, a complete business, uh, you know, a large business in Asia, which is quite difficult to, to find. Um, and I think something we just felt was really worth uh, taking the time and effort and the money uh, to, mm. to get. Um, so yes, no, very, very pleased. Obviously, got to make it work now. Um, but I think it gives us a really good platform uh, in, in Asia and uh, we're looking forward to, to, to trying to run it and to try and uh, make it work well. And while you digest that, presumably no more deals from VTOL in the, uh, in, in the near future. Uh, Neil, I would never say never, um, but no, I think it's important that we've also got you know, we've also got quite a big um, expansion here of the, uh, the Varo uh, refinery uh, business that we built. Um, we're just going through approvals on that uh, purchase from OMV at Bayern Oil in Germany. So we've got a lot, a lot on our plates and indeed, I, I, you know, I don't, we don't want to stretch it too far. Um, but, you know, obviously if there's something really great comes up, we're, we're very, um, how do I say this, we, are, we tend to be an opportunistic company, so I wouldn't say never. But uh, no, we need to get these things bedded down. And now, personally, you've been very vocal recently about Brent the benchmark, whether it's still really reflective of global oil prices. Yeah. Um, and you've come forward with some suggestions of how that could be reformed. Yeah. Um, do you think that's, that's possible, that might happen? I'd like to think so. I mean, I do think it's important that we as an industry can, you know, uh, try and improve the benchmarks we've got all the time. I think it's very important to remember we're a physical commodity business uh, and therefore with demand and supply, it changes all the time. So, you know, in the Brent situation, um, you know, you have got declining volumes as production goes down in the North Sea and you've got incremental demand coming from Asia. And I think it's important to try and reflect, you know, uh, to make sure the benchmark is really liquid, transparent, uh, and has a big depth around it, I think you've got to keep thinking about how you can increase the supply into the benchmark. We have made some suggestions. We do believe it should be possible to add in a few more grades. I know it's complex and it's quite technical at the end of the day, but I think at the end of the day, it's in all our interest to have a very uh, you know, liquid, deep benchmark. And if we can add in perhaps some Nigerian crudes or some of the light, sweet crudes mm -hmm. in the Mediterranean into the benchmark, you know, I, I personally think we should. But obviously it's for the industry to hopefully you know, decide and uh, come up with a sensible proposal. OK, well, just one final question. I really sure. can't let you leave without asking you your forecast for <laughs> the oil price. I know traders hate talking about the flat yeah, price. Well, but they, <laughs> they always get it wrong, Neil, that's why. <laughs> well, can, can I tempt you to, to, to give us a forecast? Oh, goodness. You know, I think a few months ago, we were all a little uh, a, tad on the, uh, a tad on the bearish side. The market's hardly moved, which is uh, you know, one, of the, one of the challenges I think we all have. I think, if anything, um, you know, we're, we're probably, with the supply problems we've seen, unfortunately, at the beginning of the year, I think we're leaning now to, if anything, a slightly more bullish situation. But, you know, to be honest, the market does look very balanced, and I'm not quite sure it's going to go anywhere. So it's probably very boring uh, of, of more of the same would be our... Uh, our prediction, which is so not a very fourth helpful. year of a of fourth year. I know, I know, I know, I know. But uh, you know, the market is is a little bit stuck in a rut. Okay, Ian Taylor, thank you very much. Thank you.